dates in Excel may be very different from the way you think they are. What I did here to show that is I put a date in here and I added 365 days each time and copied it down. And first of all, you will notice that here is a leap here, a leap here, a leap here. And then I copied all these dates to the right and I gave them a different format. So they look differently, but they are really all the same background numbers. Let me show you those background numbers. They are probably very different from what you think. So you see that this is sequential number plus 365 plus 365. If you didn't have those numbers, you could not really calculate with those dates. So I copied them to the right and just gave them a different format. That's all. However, there is a problem when you get dates from a different system. Especially in older databases, dates are something like this. Two digits for the month, for the two digits for the day, two digits for the year. Or sometimes, like here in this column, it's the European way of doing dates. The day, the month, the year, sometimes the year is at the beginning, like here. So how do you change this? into an Excel date that you can calculate with. I would say let's make VBA code or a macro that is going to do that for us. So I created the following code. In Visual Basic, Alt F11, I added a module. And in the module I declared a subroutine. I called it Date Converter with a series of variables. The only different one is that all ranges of the range type. And I'm going to use, first of all, the format. What is the format we are dealing with? I asked that with a regular input box. What is the date format in the column you are going to convert? It can be month, day, year, or year, day, month, etc. And whatever the user types in there, we make sure that we uppercase it and we store that in S format. Then I'm going to ask the user, which range do you want to convert? And we ask that with an Excel input box, application.input. That's a different kind of input box because this one can return not just a string, but also a range a group of cells. What is the date range to convert? And at the third argument, I put in there, if they had already selected something, give me the address of that selection. And the last argument, the type argument, has to be set to 8. That means that input box is going to return a range. And I store that range, or I hook it onto the variable O range, which is of the range type. So O range knows now what the range of cells is that you want to convert. Then I find out how many rows do we have in that O range. We count the rows in the collection of rows. We store that in R. Then we offset O range with one column to the right, zero rows up or down, entire column, insert a column to the right of where you are. And then we are going to look through all the rows for i equals 1 to r. In the first cell, row i, 1, column 2, compared to o range. And we use a function that does not exist in VBA, but that's I created myself, that you are going to create yourself. It's called formatting. It needs two arguments. What is the cell you want to format? And what is the format? I will discuss that formatting later on. Next I. Then we say, do you want to know how long ago that was, that date? Do you want that in months or in years or in, the, the, in days? You can cancel it, of course. 
Let's say by default we want it in months. How many months ago is that date? If you cancelled that input box, then S unit is an empty string, is still an empty string, then exit the sub. Otherwise, we are going to insert another column from O range, this time offset two columns to the right. Give that a number format of just a single digit. That means it will also handle two digits, three digits, but no decimal point. For i equals 1 to r again. And then we are going to put a formula in there that uses the function that Excel has, date, diff. You, you will not find it in Excel when you look for it, but it does exist. You close your string. So this is the string. Equals date, diff. From range cells i to the address of it. Hook onto it space ampersand space. A literal comma for the second argument of day different. What is the current date today? Open your string again. But you want a string inside the string for s unit has to be literally a string so you use two times double quotes that is a string inside a string okay then you close your single quote your double quotes from here s unit then open your double quotes and put in there another double set of quotes close your parentheses and close your string function. And we put in range cells i3 the formula equals s formula. Next i. And do a auto fit so that all the columns fit nicely. Now we are done with that subroutine but we haven't discussed this guy yet. That is a function that we created right here. Function formatting with two arguments, a date of the string type, a format of the string type, and it's going to return a string. Declare some variables and say we want to find out what your format is. We have one, two, three, four, five, six different formats. We have month, day, year, day, month, year, etc, etc, etc. All you have to do is store in s year, which is a local variable in the function, the right part of s date, the last two characters. I assume that all the number combinations have two digits. For the month, in this case the left part, for the day the mid part. And that has to change of course for all the other cases, depending on what kind of format the original date had. And I do a case else that was not a valid format. And then we are going to format all of that by using the date serial function that says give me the year, but convert it or cast it into an integer, the month, cast it into an integer, and the day. And return that through the name formatting. So the function is going to return the date serial of a split date with year, month, etc. That date serial turns it into a serial number that I showed you before that you can calculate with. And I'm going to give it a shortcut. Macros. Let's give it the option Control Shift C. Control shift c it says which date format in this case we have the month and then the day and then the year so that is correct then it says which range do you want to convert this one Control shift arrow down that range do you see that this guy automatically updates to a1 through a25 okay it it inserted a new column this is now a real excel date uh, how long ago, let's say in months, it adds a new column and it says how many months ago that was. If you want to see in the background, notice that this is the old text 
format and now we have really an excel date and then we use the function date difference okay let's do it for that one i'm going to select already the entire range control shift arrow down control shift c in this case the format is d m y the day's first the european version if you type lowercase it will automatically become uk's it has already that selection address so it's going to do that let's say how many years ago is that and this tells you how many years ago 2000 is 14 years ago and i could do one more Control shift arrow down Control shift c and this time it is year and then it is the month and then the day and you could try any other version of course and it will automatically do the work and let's do this in days that's how many days ago that was this is something about dates about vba uh, you need to know much more about dates excel 2007 expert will tell you a cd-rom that i developed more than 1500 slides uh, if you want to know more about vba excel 2013 vba that will also work in 2007 just the user interface has changed a little bit if you want a more scientific approach excel 2013 for scientists you can find that at genesispc.com